The new constitution, when it was promulgated for me, meant liberation. It was almost the end of an era, an era of authoritarian rule, an era of, for me, I thought it was the end of corruption. Maybe I, w I was in utopia. <laughs> it, was, it meant greater representation for all, greater opportunities, and therefore equity. Four years of the constitution for me right now, I almost sadly view it as a document because it has proven to be very hard to implement the constitution because there's no real power. Everybody furthers their own interest and tries to anchor them in the constitution. It has come to a point where when you're dealing with the ordinary Kenyan, they're wondering, why did we even bring this animal into Kenya? Constitution means that I finally have an opportunity to express myself without feeling like um, the politicians control everything that concerns affects my life. You know, service delivery, um, how my county is managed, or constituency is managed. Uh, where before we were claiming these things based on international instruments. Now there's opportunity to actually say this is part of the law, the Kenya's law, and I shouldn't be imprisoned for giving my opinion about different things. Services are also devolved, and uh, people are getting the services nearer to their, where they stay. Like Nairobi now, people appreciate the kind of services. It's not like what they used to get before they, they have to come to City Hall. But within the devolved government, uh, each and every uh, ward has all the services for the for which uh, the counties uh, provide. It's the only time I've said here, you know, I'm going to go to the county, I'm going to go to the county, I'm going to go to the city, I'm going to go to the county, I'm going to go to the county, I'm going to go to the county, I'm going to go to the county. Well, there has been, in terms of a lot of public debate on whether the constitution is fulfilling what it intended to do. So I think that, that's a good thing. It has generated a lot of interest, not just within uh, local, but also internationally and regionally, which I believe is, is something good. I think it's what it still means to me four years later is it's um, still the assertion of a promise uh, of where Kenya can be of what we should aspire towards uh, achieving. However, it also then reminds us that um, the document in itself can't be considered to be the achievement of that promise, that it, we have to continually work together towards attaining the promises that are contained within that constitution, that it'll take a lot of hard work, um, that it'll take a lot of intensive debate, but that within that debate we shouldn't lose ourselves and the fact that we still want to end up with a common set of ideals for ourselves and uh, for successive generations within the country. And I think it also reminds us uh, of the history uh, that is behind that document. And it's uh, a history that is mixed both with uh, triumph and a lot of pain. And that we should always be reminded of that as we continue to engage in some of the very strong contentious aspects of implementing the Constitution. <laughs>